My BFI Player Choice this week is an understatedly powerful work from British Moroccan writer-director Faisal Belifa, who made the brilliant Lynn and Lucy, taking its title from a 1950s Joan Crawford movie about a mother whose life changes after the loss of her son. It's been variously compared to the work of Italian maestro Pier Paolo Pasolini and British TV auteur Alan Clark, although the resulting picture is very much its own beast. The damned don't cry. <laughs> When a mother and her teenage son Salim find themselves on the skids in Morocco, both are outcast. Her, because she's a single mother with a reputation that doesn't fit into traditional roles. Him, because he's apparently been lied to about his father, who he was, how he came to be. Their existence is nomadic, with relatives often less than pleased to see them. As their stories progress, each becomes less tolerant of the other's lifestyle choices. Yet they remain locked together even when apart, the closeness between the pair vacillating between codependence and entanglement. In the central maternal role, Aicha Tebe commands the screen, a proud and ostentatious figure, down on her luck but never bowed, like a cross between Crawford and Blanche Dubois. Meanwhile, her son is introverted and watchful, yet also complex, strong and angry. Boasting a gorgeous cello and harp score by Egyptian composer Nada El Shazli, who won Best Music at the Bordeaux Independent Film Festival and Best Score at the Dublin International Film Festival, The Damn Don't Cry presents an intimate portrait of two people whose lives may be jarringly discordant, but who nevertheless represent two juxtaposed elements of the same dramatic symphony. Clearly in love with his subjects, Belifa gets right under their skin, creating an unexpectedly defiant portrait of people who don't want to just survive, but want to be themselves, whomever that may be.